Well, welcome back, everybody. And first of all, thanks to Ziad for going ahead and covering for me yesterday. Of course, I've been traveling and so needed to get that covered. I appreciate him doing that for you guys to keep you guys in loop on some of the things that are being thought about. And of course, uh, also great job in the live trading room today, executing live trades right in front of people on the short side and the stock index futures and that. And so just a uh, really great all around. So great job, Z. So as we go ahead and we take a look now at what we're focusing on it's really it, there's a couple things and so let me back up and talk first about the you know the overall market you know with this whole market we broke back down below the channel we pushed we had multiple closes so that makes the channel resistance because we had multiple closes below the channel so then that's resistance well then we go ahead and we pop up here just above the channel we have a one bar close above the channel well we need at least two to start considering that a potential support right well let's see it push through pull back and then take off well we had the one day above and of course the most alarming part about this was how many people were saying oh that's it it's a bottom you know it's all done it's over with you know and now we can go to greener pastures it's very concerning when you start to see people talk like that so with that being said, if you then take a look to the weekly chart here, you'll see even you know more important picture. The weekly chart, you know, you guys recall several weeks ago, I was warning you about this that we only had the one bar above, and we didn't have the the next bar that closed here was basically a inventory retracement bar, which is a big fat distribution bar. And so sure enough, we rolled right back down here for a couple weeks. We have a little bit of a rally on the daily basis, and everybody's ready to call it you know all over with. So with that being said. We are not, as you can see, we are still below the weekly channel here with today's close. Last week's close got us right into the bottom of the channel. So that, that's how little we've really done with this. And then this week we got into the midpoint of the channel and then rolled right back over again. So that is clear resistance still at this point. You recall in general, my key focus was either SQQQ long side trades, right? or short side, you know, stock index futures primarily is what I've been focusing on. And Ted was really focusing more on the SQQQ side, looking for those opportunities. So with that being said, then now we, we bring it into with that uh, arm with that, uh, this is still distribution, still sell side. There's no reason to go and be gleeful to the long side, unless you look for long inverse ETFs. And I've been talking a lot about the inverse ETFs for a while, and now you can once again see why. So I'm trying to put all these pieces together for you to bring it all, you know, so you can see how, where my thinking is. And so once again, now, as we take a look to the, um, the intraday here. I've done a lot of classes in the last several weeks, and some of those classes focus on IRBs, reverse RBs, stochastic spikes, TRP and ITP tools of mine. Those ones are more advanced. Those are for you know serious and active traders and investors from my perspective. But the TRP, sorry, the IRB, reverse RB, stochastic spikes are things that every trader should know no matter who you are from my perspective. And you can see basically what happened here. You know, this market over and over and over again had IRBs. In fact, ironically, I should shorted off of this IRB right here. And perhaps if we can take a look at the video here, let me pull this together for you here. So, okay. So right here, this market went ahead and had an IRB after downtrend, lots of IRBs throughout the day. But you see here inside of wealth charts, look what happens as soon as we break down below, this is called a reverse IRB off the highs and a downtrend. And then it pushes down, fires off right when that goes and takes place. Well, we'll just kind of fast forward it here so you see what happened. Down the hatch it went. Right. And then you'll see more IRBs going and firing off there. And it just continues on, as you can see here, over and over and over again. So the so hopefully this helps you see look at look at all the IRBs and, and that, that were firing off there. Started with the reverse IRB up here, then went down here to classic IRBs breaking down below, uh, and down the hatch it went, right? So I teach those strategies, you know, over and over and over again, the power of those. And you know, once again, now we can see just how important that was today. Meanwhile, also the stochastic spike strategy, right? So you get those short-term pullbacks within that predominant downtrend looking for re-entry opportunities. So we had a lot of those. And then, of course, TRP and ITP. You know, So in the downtrend here, looking for red dots in the downtrend or breaking below blue dots as initial entries. Then you get target one, target two. We have the momentum shift breakdown, breakouts for like annual members of 
of Wealth charts there. These are, you know, for all members inside of Wealth charts, the classic IRB and reverse IRB. And so in the scanner too, then for annual members, we've got a scanner that just highlights these when these are happening so you don't have to miss them. So there's a lot of, and then the, uh, the uh, ITPs, right? So, you know, all of this was firing off here, you know, over and over and over again. So even when the IRBs and reverse IRBs weren't firing off, you could see the countless re-entry opportunities on the dual momentums, the acceleration alerts, rapid trade identifiers, all those different types of things, right? So it didn't matter whether you had TRP, ITP, or you were using standard strategies. I teach everybody freely in the power of those. And it was, you know, down the hatch, it went here, and all those were re-entry and entry and re-entry opportunities. And like I said, I even had a short here myself on the reverse IRB trade. So the, amongst several other <laughs> shorts I had throughout the day, but as I'm looking at this bar, this was, you know, one of those. So the, the key here is over and over and over again, I'm not trying to be a bottom catcher. From my perspective, it's either inverse ETFs, the, there are certainly individual short side equity opportunities and even some, a few very, very distinct long side equity opportunities. But in general, my strategy, the path of least resistance, the easiest opportunity is to stay with the trend here. The trend is your friend till the bend in the end. And every time the market goes up a few bars, it's like everybody gets excited thinking it's the bend in the end. But it's really not. As I showed you here, we only had a one bar above the daily channel here and on the weekly, it, you know, it didn't even get you know, last week's close was below, you know, the channel here. This week it got to the midpoint of the channel. So nothing on the the weekly charts going in showing that bullishness and that. So. The, the exciting news is all these different strategies that we're showing, whether the more advanced ones for TRP and ITP, whether it's the more power, powerful but basic ones for IRBs, reverse IRBs, stochastic uh, uh, tr spike trades and everything else, they're all you know functioning as I want them to function based on my trading system in here. Nothing's perfect. Nothing works 100% of the time. That's just not the case. But this is what I'm using. I've used these in trading competitions, in the live trading room. Uh, there was shorting there on the screen in front of people, you know, using these today. So we're trying to put all these pieces together and really help you guys through this tumultuous time. So, you know, to go ahead and see me, I don't know if I'm doing any other public classes right now. I did several of them for you over the last few weeks. There was a couple of things like ITP and TRP. We took really good care of uh, you guys with, and I tried to teach you these other strategies for all of you with IRB, reverse IRB, and stochastics. But what you can do to make sure you can see me is go ahead and go to www joinwealth365.com joinwealth365.com and you can get registered to see me at the upcoming Wealth365 Summit where I'm going to go ahead and be doing some very special classes during the day and then going ahead and doing the special training classes at night and of course I've done a very good job of you know trying to prepare you for what happens between each of the quarters with, with the strategies I'm planning to focus on and the markets and individual instruments so you know make sure you get yourself registered here to be a part of that very special event. Got some great new speakers that are going to be on the show. Got a great event lined up with great people that are expecting to go ahead or that I expect will go ahead and be showing you some really great tools and strategies, especially some of them that I've already talked to. I'm very excited about what they're going to be presenting. So with that being said, make sure you go to joinwell365.com right now, get signed up here on the page, and I will look forward to seeing you at a minimum at that class here that's coming up during the week of the summit. Okay. And I've got, like I said, several classes during the day and in the evening. So it'll be great to, I won't be miss you guys. All right. Have a great rest of the night. You know what my focus is, how I'm planning to focus, taking all the things that I've been teaching you in these public events that I do and using them again tomorrow is the plan, right? So have a great night and I'll see you guys shortly. And of course, at the upcoming summit. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.